Let's begin with that story. Violent crime in Manhattan is the focus of a special House committee hearing being held in New York City. It comes as Judiciary Committee Chair Jim Jordan is locked in a legal battle with Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg over his prosecution of former President Trump. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook live in Lower Manhattan with the very latest. Elijah. Well, Chris, I can tell you that that special hearing is still taking place as we speak, but so far as we've watched, uh, it seemed like it got pretty heated during certain portions of it. Uh, during this time, we heard from people who say that they've been victims of violence right here in Manhattan, but also a calling on lawmakers to do something about it. Now, others are saying that this special hearing is unnecessary and it's a distraction taking away the focus from the indictment of former President Donald Trump. In defense of former President Trump, some House GOP members targeted Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg this morning in a field hearing at federal court in Lower Manhattan. The hearing was spearheaded by Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan, who says Bragg isn't tough on crime. Our plan this Congress has been to include field hearings in some of our greatest cities to analyze and highlight how soft on crime policies hurt families, hurt communities, hurt small business owners. Today's hearing is called Victims of Violent Crime in Manhattan, where more than seven witnesses testified in front of Congress about their experiences with crime, pointing the finger at Bragg, saying these incidents are happening under his watch. When crimes aren't prosecuted, the criminal justice system is failing victims of crime. He dismissed, completely dismissed, gang assault and murder indictments against two of the defendants clearly on video participating in the brutal savage slaughter of my son. Those in support of Bragg rallied both in and out of the courthouse this morning. Democratic House Judiciary Committee ranking member Jerry Nadler and Mayor Eric Adams were among the dozens. It is really troubling that Americans' taxpayers' dollars are being used to come here on this junket to do an examination of the safest big city in America. The police department's own data show that since D.A. Bragg took off, his shootings in Manhattan have declined by 20 percent. Homicides have declined by 16 percent. And back out here live, uh, D.A. Bragg's office did put out a rather lengthy statement over the weekend, but I want to read just a small portion of it that says that House GOP is coming to the safest city in America for a political stunt. It goes on to say that the hearing won't help in bettering public safety, end quote. That's the very latest here in Lower Manhattan. I'm Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.